the bell icon to turn on notifications. It's time now to talk about using OneDrive with File Explorer. Now, if you're not familiar with OneDrive, it's basically a cloud storage system. So if you've used something like Google Drive or maybe iCloud previously, this is pretty much exactly the same thing. It's just Microsoft's version. And if you have a Microsoft 365 account, you will have access to OneDrive cloud storage. Now, how much storage you get really does depend on the type of Microsoft 365 subscription that you have. But the minimum amount you'll receive is 5 gig. And that obviously increases depending on the package that you've selected. Now, as we've mentioned, OneDrive is cloud storage. And so we can access it through our Microsoft 365 online portal. So I'm logged into mine and I've just logged into this using my 365 credentials, my email address and my password. And if I want to see any files that I have stored in OneDrive in the cloud, I can simply click the dots at the top here and switch across to OneDrive. Now, currently I'm working in the online version of OneDrive. And with most cloud storage systems like Google Drive that you might have used previously, the advantage of this is that you can access your files that you have stored in the cloud from anywhere, as long as you've got an internet connection. So maybe you're away from your desk, maybe you're using your laptop in another country, maybe you're on the train on your mobile phone. As long as you have a Wi-Fi connection, you can log into OneDrive and view your files. And I have my files stored in different folders. If I navigate through documents, I have a whole bunch of folders here and I could go into something like work files, blog posts, and then into another folder and I can then open up, view and edit any of these files. So the online version of OneDrive is great if you want to access your files whilst you're on the go or working in different locations. But a lot of the time, particularly if we're just sitting at our desk and we want to edit these files, logging into a portal and navigating to OneDrive each time you want to do that isn't particularly efficient. So we do have a better way of doing this, which is going to enable us to access any files that we've got stored in OneDrive directly from File Explorer. They are still in the cloud, but we can access them in an easier way. So let's minimize down our web browser and take a look at OneDrive in File Explorer. So what you'll see here again on the left hand side of File Explorer is that I have OneDrive Personal and OneDrive Train IT Now Limited. So I effectively have two different OneDrive accounts. One is for personal and one I use for business. Now it might be that you only have one that is absolutely fine, but notice that it's listed in File Explorer. So if I want to access any files that I've got saved into the cloud, I can simply navigate through the same folder structure. So I can go and expand documents into work files, into blog posts, and there is pivot charts in Excel, which is exactly the folder we were in when we were looking at the online version. So everything is synchronized between the two. Now, the beauty of this is that if I open a file in the online version, maybe on my phone, if I make any changes to that file, it's going to synchronize so that if I was to then open the same file through File Explorer, all of the changes that I've made will be there. So it's a really efficient way of working. And I find this so much easier to access all my cloud files directly from within File Explorer, as opposed to having to go to an internet browser each time. Now, this isn't a OneDrive course. We could go a lot more into this, but hopefully that helps you understand the basic concept of how OneDrive works. You can pretty much treat any files and folders stored in OneDrive in File Explorer exactly the same way you would treat any other file. So copying and pasting files is the same. Renaming them is the same. The only difference is that any change you make is going to synchronize with the online version so that you always have access to the latest version. Now, how does it synchronize? Well, when you create a OneDrive account, either at the beginning of the Windows 11 setup or at a later time, if you take a look down in the bottom right hand corner where we have our icons, notice that I have two little cloud icons. And currently I have both of these paused. 
Effectively, what I've done here is I've paused the synchronization whilst I record this video. Just because sometimes when it's synchronizing, it does make your PC chug a little bit because it's processing a lot of information. So just so we don't have that noise during the video, I've paused the synchronization. But if I wanted to restart synchronizing, all I would need to do is right click on this cloud icon and just say resume syncing. And now it's checking for any changes that I've made to any of the files stored in OneDrive and it's synchronizing them back to the cloud. Now, if you don't see these two little cloud icons down in the taskbar here, it means that you haven't set your OneDrive up to synchronize locally. So if that is the case, what you can do is jump back across to your OneDrive and you should find that you have a sync button in the horizontal menu running across the top. Now I don't have it because I'm already all synchronized, but if you're not, click that button and what will happen once you sync is that you'll see this little cloud icon appear down in the taskbar and you'll start to see all of your files synchronizing from the cloud to File Explorer. And that is when you'll get these OneDrive folders listed just here. As I said, there is quite a bit to OneDrive. So if you'd like to know more, I would definitely recommend you check out some videos on YouTube or even do a course. But that is the basics of how OneDrive synchronizes and works when you're using it within File Explorer. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.